simple way. You know how to wear it, you know how to brush it, and you know how to store it. You are definitely off to a great start. But there comes a time where you think, this is something you wear on your head. Out in the world, in the environment where there's dirt, and there's wind that blows that dirt into your wig. Also, wigs are kind of hot sometimes, and your head may be all gross and sweaty under there. Or you could have so much product in your wig that it doesn't even move. And then there's other things like lingering bad smells like cigarette smoke that you just really don't like. And it seems like it's trapped in your wig forever. When it's time to wash your wig, you'll know it. Here's how I do it. So to start off, you'll need some kind of shampoo for synthetic hair. I get this from Sally's, but any beauty supply store that sells extensions should carry something like it. Let's start by filling a sink or basin with water. If you are washing a wig with tight curls or that has a very distinct style that you want to stay intact, use super cold water. The colder the water, the more likely the style is to stay. On the other end of the spectrum, if you want to loosen up a style, use hot water. And for everything in between that, I usually just use cool water. Add some shampoo to the water while it's filling up to get some good soapy bubbles. You'll want to follow the instructions on the back of the shampoo bottle for whatever shampoo you have. Sometimes they'll tell you how much to use, but this one doesn't. So I just kind of wing it. <laughs> so before you ever put your wig in water, you'll want to brush it out. Once it is wet, it will be much, much harder to brush out. So anyway, after your wig is all brushed out, you're just going to dunk it down in the water. Make sure that it is completely submerged. And then I just gently agitate the wig with this kind of motion around in the water to make sure that you get shampoo throughout all of it and get it all clean. Then I usually let it sit for a few minutes. This step varies depending on who you ask, but personally, I like to let them soak for like five to 10 minutes. Okay, so once the wig has been soaking for a little bit, I come back to wash it out. Here I am lifting the wig up out of the sink while the dirty, soapy water drains out of it. And after it's all drained, I use clean water to rinse all the shampoo out of the wig. You'll want to do this until there are no more bubbles in the water. It does take a while for a little faucet like this one, so if you have a sprayer attached to your sink, that is definitely a faster approach to rinsing. And again, this wig is really long and really thick. Shorter ones are going to be easier and they're going to be faster to wash and to rinse out. Once I can wring out the wig and no more bubbles come out, the wig is clean and ready to dry. I squeeze out as much of the excess water as I can because the more water you can get out, the faster it's going to dry. And then I just lay the wig flat out on a towel and let it air dry. The drying times vary depending on thickness, length, and style. So for big wigs like this one, I usually just let it sit overnight. And as tempting as it is to get in there and brush it out right away, you should wait for it to dry before brushing out the tangles so that you don't damage your wig. But once it's dry, by all means, go ahead and brush it out. <laughs> um, I put mine on a styrofoam head to brush it out, but if you don't have a styrofoam head and stand, you can just put it on your own head and brush it out from there. And as long as you didn't use super hot water to wash the wig, it should pop right back into the style it was in before it was a wet blob in your sink. <laughs> you can see here that the little hair flips in the hologram style from Rockstar Wigs came right back with like very little effort or styling at all. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's it. Now your wig is clean. The wig that I washed today is a basic cap synthetic wig, meaning that the inside of the cap looks like this. Lace fronts should be treated a little differently in that you should only run water in the direction that the hairs go. So for example, from the inside of the cap out, if you run water against the knots, it could push the knots backwards into the cap and you might have little strays everywhere, or it could push the hair out altogether. And that's not good. You don't want that happening to your pretty lace wigs. Also, when soaking the lace front, I try to leave the lace um, poking up out of the water. But other than that, you can follow all of the same steps that this video showed you to wash your lace fronts. Human hair wigs are a totally different thing and require different maintenance from synthetic wigs. I have no experience with them, so I wouldn't feel totally confident giving you guys advice on this kind of stuff. So uh, you may have to check out a different channel if your wig is human hair as opposed to synthetic. If your wig is human hair, you'll know it. They are much more expensive than synthetic wigs, so. Either way, I hope you found this video helpful and that you finally feel comfortable enough to wash your wigs. I know it can be really scary to dunk your wig in water for the first time, but hopefully this video shows you that it is not a bad thing. I hope you guys are enjoying this wig care series so far. If you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future wig videos. 
Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!